All right, Honorable, thank you so much for speaking to NTV. Maybe to, for the benefit of our viewers, please introduce yourself to them. Yeah, thank you so much. I'm um, Linda Agnes, the woman member of parliament for Lira District and the publicity of Laon Parliamentary Group. Uh, we are here in a dock, sub county, that is Dokolo District. Adok is the home village of uh, late Honorable Cecilia Ogwal. She's born in this area, but she's married in Kole. I know most of the people are wondering why Dokolo Kole. She's born here, she came back home to serve her people. It's like also me. I'm born in Dokolo, in, 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 in Oyam, but my mother also comes from Lira district. For us in Lango, so long as you have a good reputation and your family has a good reputation, they can elect you anywhere. Yeah. So, Thank you, Honorable. We want to understand you're in charge of, of the venue, both in Kampala and here. How, how are the preparations so far and at what time uh, are we expecting the body of the late Cecilia Ogwal to arrive here? Yeah, thank you so much in the committee for the burial. I'm in charge of the venue. That's why I came earlier than my colleagues who are escorting the body to ensure that everything is set as it was planned. Uh, if you have seen, we have enough space that have already been provided for. Uh, the organization is on. Uh, even the food is ready, that's why you saw me moving up and down to ensure that the mourners start having their supper as we wait for the rest. And um, in Dokolo, where we are going tomorrow, the district headquarters, to have a joint council meeting where all the councillors of Lango will come and converge in Dokolo to pay tribute to Atat because she was important in Lango as a whole. We were expecting the body to be here uh, earlier, but you know, as a, a leader, a national leader, people love her, she has touched very many lives. So, moving on road from Kampala wasn't easy, because in trading centers, people were gathering to pay their tribute, uh, like the people of Soroti, love her so much, Teso as a whole love us so so much so they welcomed her from kumi and you know it was a big crowd the border borders at the flank on the roads it was an inch move so leaving kumi to soroti wasn't easy as i talk right now they have just arrived in soroti and we are going we might receive her very late because that is soroti she's a darling of kumi and kalaki considering the contributions honorable cecilia Gualas made to this country and and of course the for convening purposes uh, why was she not flown directly here so that she be here on time as parliament of uganda we don't have our own chopper we always borrow from the army so our aeroplanes the ones that were supposed to be used to fly her over here had a mechanical condition. Others had already also gone out for other duties. So we were sure that if it was in position to come back, they would fly her in. But if it does not, they will use the rod. So what is happening is not a surprise to us because all those things we had discussed with government. So. Uh, it shouldn't cause a serious harm. We are understanding the situation. It wasn't intentional, or it wasn't also the intention of attack to be moved on road, neither the Lao Fraternity nor the government. We are definitely come here in a dock sub county in Dokolo district, and we will be following the procession to Lira district tomorrow and then head on to. Uh, Kole district where the late Cecilia Ogwal will be finally laid to rest on Saturday. I'm Daniel Kibet.